All right, so the good thing is that our man went to Nigeria, decided to leave all of us to Nigeria to go inspect some one or two happenings in the showbiz industry. And interestingly, ever since he came, he has been extra busy. Trying to find him is even becoming a problem. That is why you guys are always asking, where is Nanaya? Where is Nanaya? In fact, today we went to his soul tomb um, house where we got him. And today he is on the show. It is going to be the Ghana Weekly here on Sammy Flex TV. My name is Sammy Flex. And of course, let me say thanks to my producers and directors of the show, Richie Flex, led by my man, Digital Rasta, a.k.a. A currency. We're going to talk about mainly Nigeria, um, Sound City MVP Awards, yes. and of course, some of the observations we have made in our industry. We all know the rivalry. It has always been that Ghanaians and Nigerians are always beefing from Jollof to women, movies, music, and even cars. <laughs> Next time, I know, right? Now, the cars you saw in Nigeria. Oh, cars, yeah. yeah. Who, who, who is driving better cars, Ghana oh, or Nigeria? I think um, so far, Nigerian artists are driving better cars. Nigerian artists? Yeah, yeah. I mean, are you the, sure? the houses, yeah. Oh, the but houses. we can use Wale alone to cancel all of them. Oh, no. I, I don't think. Wale, Have you been to Wale's house? I don't think Wale has a Lamborghini. You know? Oh, are you I sure? saw about four artists driving Lamborghini. Wale has and Ferrari and things. Um, I saw about four artists drive Lamborghinis and Maseratis. I saw about three DJs pull up. Have you been to Medical House House? Um, no, but I've seen Medical House car. I mean, obviously, you know the car. Range Rover? Yeah, Range. And Range is like, Range kind of sounds like in Nigeria. It's like somebody come from Have town. you been to Chris Waddell? Yeah, maybe we say Wado, we can, yeah, we could feel, you know, w w Wado can, can get closer. Mm. But, but the thing, the cars I saw, mm. bro, it's not. Have you been to Patapai's house? Okay, so the, the TV say sometimes you might get it. Ah, why are you laughing? <laughs> oh. and have you been to Patapai's house? Oh. His cars? Yeah, I can't go with us anymore. Oh, Mr. Yeah, I can't go with us anymore. Yeah, cars are easy. And then when you package, when you say, I say, I'm going to hire a car, and I'm going to buy a horse. And I'm going to you know, like, yeah. no, 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 it's not, it's not, it's not like that. Now, were you the only Ghanaian journalist who was invited for the award show this year? Yes, I was the only person I saw there. I, I, okay. I didn't see any other Ghanaian. All, all the Ghanaians I saw were DJs and artists who were nominated. So. I know. Okay, so Nana already represented Ghana in Nigeria for the MVP, that is the Sound City Awards. So today, mainly, our conversation is going to yeah, be about it. City. Especially after the event, there has been some one or two reports that our Ghanaian artists were ignored on the stage whilst mm. they were performing. Most of the fans who were at the show, or most of the patrons, they behaved as if they never knew anything about them. <laughs> <laughs> be it Kwame Eugene, be it Stone Boy, and the rest of them. Nana Aredu was there. He can only give us the clear picture and what really transpired there. First, we have to say congratulations to um, Dope Nation, um, Dope Nation yeah. because they were the only people who came with awards. Although most of our A listed artists were all nominated one way or the other. Yeah. Uh, Shatawale was nominated, Stone Boy was nominated. Wendy Shea. Wendy Shea was nominated, they came with nothing. What happened? I think first of all, you have to say um, congrats to all of them for mm -hmm. being nominated, first of all, because it's not easy. This is an award scheme for Africa, it's not an award scheme for just Nigerians, you know, okay. so there are people from east side of Africa, south side of Africa, west side and north side of Africa, everybody has been put into one category. Mm -hmm. So obviously, there will always be one winner, and mm -hmm. when it comes to voting in award schemes in, in Africa, Ghana, we don't have much to do, okay. because we are not child, mm -hmm. you, know, you know what I'm trying to say? And I was very happy when I, when I heard Dove Nation's name. Mm -hmm. You know, but because you you said and do sir, to really really do what to really really vote, unless the academy or board decides to go by the virtue of the work itself, you know, then they can probably will be will be able to win one or two. So big ups to all the guys who got nominated. Okay. I think it's a big win for them. Everybody, mm -hmm. Stone, Wendy, Kwame, Eugene, Dope Nation, everybody. I think it's mm -hmm. a dark but, but what did a big win. Dope Nation do exceptionally that game? Dope Nation win. currently, if they are listening, they are there. Giants of African music when it comes to music groups. Dope Nation. Yes, because I, I unfortunately I, I lost my iPhone. I had a beautiful podcast recorded. You lost your iPhone in Nigeria? No, in Ghana actually. Oh, okay. Yeah, we said <laughs> like I think two days okay. ago. I'm happy so, we are not going to tag them as questions. No, 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 no. 
actually I actually left my a lot of my room and things unlocked and I came back everything was there proper nothing oh. touched nothing happened oh you mean in Nigeria, in Nigeria yeah so oh, that okay. perception has to stop but anyway maybe okay. because I was lacking you know you were you were in which state <laughs> I was in I was in I was in Lagos Lagos <laughs> next time try that I was one. on the island you no know? next time try the other one <laughs> <laughs> Over there, they don't need iPhone. Oh, of course. Uh, try that one. Uh, I am, I am. <laughs> try Alaba. Alaba. <laughs> I mean, but I think, sir, so, Obia, like all of them, they've done well. Big ups to them. It's not easy, you know. Mm. Um, yeah, and the review, all the artists nominated have proved that, you know, they, are, they have something to offer the, the African continent. And so, okay. yeah, we are growing. So, it's little by little. And maybe tomorrow, who knows, we will pick up all the awards that we'll be nominated in. Mm -hmm. Okay, now that we are done with the awards, let's come to the performance and the reception our people received. Mm -hmm. uh, how many of our, of our people performed? Um, Daku Vibes, mm -hmm. Kwame Yuji, mm -hmm. Stoneboy mm -hmm. performed. Whilst they were performing, were you in the auditorium? Yes, so Daku Vibes performed at the Blue Carpet area. Okay. Now, I, I, was on a, I was on a different platform and I explained what happened. The Sound City MVP Awards itself, the organization, the focus was on television. Okay. So on ground, the organization was so poor. I, I said some, I said it on TV that if it was Ghana, like by now, we, Ghana Music Awards will, will be trending, because as a yeah, yeah well, we that we are live or at the auditorium, we are not part of the show. Mm -hmm. So I mean, for can I say yeah, 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 music, music. Mm -hmm. Now you're focusing on the TV. Audience. Okay. Then the audience there, we try to entertain them so that it will not look boring. That was the idea. So if you are watching on television, it will it will come to you as solid everything produced properly but if you are on the grounds it's not the same so that could buy perform at the blue carpet mm -hmm. when they were having their blue carpet moments and interviewing the stars and everything everything was going well but if they want to go for a break they don't even tell you that there'll be an artist performing too hard now they make an action so they're performing so there was one big star she's called good girl ellie Okay. She came on the blue carpet to perform, and none of the media people around were filming her because they didn't know who the f she was. Mm -hmm. You understand? But and she was not introduced. She wasn't, and I had to tell one of the, the guys, like, "Yo, this guy, this guy should be a girl now. That's good girl Ellie. You have to film her." Before they said, "Oh, oh, oh, okay," and then they put on their camera. By that time, she was she had already, already like finished. almost finished performing, yeah. you know. But then the host came back and said, "Thank you, good girl Ellie, for that performance." Then they said, "They all like, oh, who?" You know, if you are organizing an award scheme, these are some of the things you need to put in place. You need to be able to create a media section where people will get the update of who and who, who is coming on stage, even if it's a blue carpet area. Mm -hmm. And because there are musical breaks in it, mm -hmm. you have to let the media know so we can, we can also share it or put it out there. Okay. But I think because they focus on television, they were more focused on getting, filling every major spot so that there will not be holes on TV. Mm -hmm. So if you're watching the, on the blue carpet on TV, once they go off, the, the, there's a performance. So to you, oh, everything is correct. But we that we are on the grounds, you go like, oh, okay, so who this? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I, I don't think I'm trying no, to. No, I get you. So it makes it's like doing VGMA and the red carpet. They put a musical break in there, and VGMA do not communicate who and who and who are performing on the red carpet. And so, when I say break, you see somebody on stage performing. Let's say you see, let's say artist A performing. Mm -hmm. You don't know who. If you when are, you are in the auditorium, when you're, when, when you're, yeah, you see somebody performing. Mm -hmm. And if you're watching on TV, oh, it looks cool because they will tag the person on TV. Mm -hmm. But we that we are on the ground, it's like, oh, who, who do this? Now if I go find Google and tends to. Who is to okay. you can tweet. So are you telling me that it is because maybe Stoneboy at the time did not get the usual introduction, so that people no Stoneboy performed on the main stage. So I'll, I'll come to it. So okay. there were two stages. So mm -hmm. the blue carpet is like where it's like in Ghana, it's like the red carpet, mm -hmm. where people come and you interview who, who are you wearing and all that kind of thing. Beautiful coordinated, well done. Three camera work, three presenters, everybody delivered. Amazing. Mm -hmm. It was beautiful. I like it. Okay. The only issue was the coordination between the audience are audience really watching them mm -hmm. and the artists performing on stage performing on the blue carpet okay. so so for daku vibes if you if you don't know who daku vibes is your your, your only best bet is the song which mm -hmm. got them mm -hmm. because that song with um the song what's it called um stay woke. yeah still it got them after people were shazami when he was performing i saw a lot of boys sh shazami the song to find out what song it was mm -hmm. so because they didn't they didn't they didn't uh, intro him properly he came across like some underground artist. He's not an underground artist. Mm -hmm. But you have a, a lot of people shazamming the song to see what the song was beautiful and it got people's attention. But it wasn't for only the Akubans. All the Nigerian stars that performed. That's, that's how they, 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 treated, they them treated them on the blue carpet. Mm. Mm. So it was like that. Now, to the, main, to the main stage itself, this year, Ghana was very fortunate. They put us at a position where we had the power 
to perform for over seven to ten minutes on stage. Okay. So we are, we are, we were in, in the likes of um, diamond platinums and, and and the rest. Um, Kwame performed first. Okay. Did he perform with a live band? No. Okay. Kwame he did came, a playback. Yeah, playback. But <coughs> Kwame Kwame had a good show. Yeah. Kwame had an amazing performance. The beginning we of Kwame Eugene. Kwame Eugene. We, we have a chairman Kwame. As okay, well, so, so Kwame Eugene. Mm. Now, Kwame Kwame Eugene's intro alone got a lot of people talking. Asking who is this guy? And somebody said, Oh no, no, this guy. Now, now you sing Angela now. Mm -hmm. And I said, Oh, okay, okay, okay. Oh, no, never the carillas. So I was in the regular um, area where the I mean the the regular guys, what we call the, the award fillers, mm -hmm. were. And I could hear people shouting to Kwame. Never Carolas, never Carolas. You know why? Because Never Carolas is a big song in Nigeria. Oh, and because yeah. of Mayokun. Mm -hmm. So they were shouting so that he would hear and perform That's that right. song. But he wasn't here because he was, was on stage. Mm -hmm. He did a medley with Good Girl Ellie. Mm -hmm. And when he finished the medley, people were still waiting for more. So he didn't do the Never Carolas? He didn't. So what does it mean that as a performer, the team, they did not do any grounds work? Yeah, so I'm to coming... To find out how strong they are there, which song is known by the No, people. Kwame performs songs that are, are even heavier there. I'm coming to that. Okay. Kwame's first performance was with a girl called Good Girl Early. It was a medley. Mm -hmm. He killed it. The people were shouting about his vocal delivery. When he finished singing, the, the, girls, the, the girls in the return, they were, shout, they were screaming. Mm -hmm. Because of the vocal delivery of Kwame Eugene. Okay. After that, he performed Angela. Mm -hmm. Which is also big. Which is a huge song. I was with one girl from Cameroon. She's, a, she's also a media media person. Okay. And she was telling me how huge Angela was in their country. And in she was, Cameroon as well. Yeah. And <coughs> there was one girl and a boyfriend who was singing Angela went for it. That time, my iPhone, they go off. So I told the, the guy, I, I, I even gave him my Lagos. No, now I have a Lagos number. Mm -hmm. So I gave him my number. I said, Charlie, um, what's happening in this video? Now I won't show. Kwame, make Kwame go give your girl a shout out. Send her the one who sent the video. <laughs> you, should have, you should have taken their uh, social media handle. I'm telling you, the girl sang Angela word for word. Mm -hmm. So you see, the auditorium is huge. Probably you saw a video online of any performance. Depending on where I was, I was. That's how I will film the video. But if you are on, if you are in the auditorium, the experience is different. Kwame, Kwame's confusion. I even thought they didn't even know what confusion was. Mm -hmm. They were sending confusion. Wow. Yes. The only thing, like you said, was that maybe Albert and the team should have probably added the, yeah, added the never because they were shouting never carry last, never I said anything, mm -hmm. never carry last, never carry last, never carry last. Mm -hmm. So I asked one guy, he said, yeah, now make it, make it do that song now. Yeah, man, you can make it do that song now. But but this this shouldn't be someone something that they have to even send someone to go do a research for them. You are going to Nigeria. You have collaboration with a Nigerian artist. That was least so that part, but all the that songs, song. but all the songs he performed, they sang word for word. You know when a good performance is over and, and the artist pauses the DJ mm -hmm. and tries to engage the audience and they respond. Kwame did that and it was amazing. They, they were shouting. They were shouting. So were Kwame good. had a good response. Had amazing response. How about Stone Boy? Dope. Listen, it took me ten minutes to convince some girls I was interviewing that Stone Boy is a Ghanaian. Mm. And I was hurt because they said this is what they said, the girls. They say, you put in Ghana now, you put artists. You put, you put, you still artists. So I got pitched on, like, why, which artists have we picked so, from? He said, yeah. And they were like, you, you take Mr. Easy now. You won't take this guy. This guy, this guy is Jamaican. You won't take him too. But I said, how is Stone Boy Jamaican? How is Stone Boy Jamaican? I want you to hear, do you know why the problem was? Pull up. Mm. And mm. Stone Boy coming on stage, his intro and outro were all patois. He's even on stage, because he performed songs with Beanie Man and the rest. Mm -hmm. It was all part one. So they didn't believe that somebody from Ghana could pull that performance. If anybody tells you that Stone Boy, Kwame Yuji, Pesiata, that had a bad bad day in Nigeria, Mrs. Shiramu, who? But then after the whole award scheme, that was the vibe around social media. Yeah, that's how that's, and, and that's video circulating even proved that. Where when Stoneboy was on the stage, we saw people just standing there looking at him. So that was why I said earlier on that. I had a call from Ghana, I won't mention the, the celebrity's name. Mm -hmm. He called me and was angry because I had done a headline that said Stoneboy drops bangers on Nigerians. And he's telling me that why would I use that headline? Because that headline is too hard and people were just I'm like people are just watching who? Bro, you are using one person who is in my video. One person in my oh, video. So the, the video circulating came from you. Yeah, it came from me. One person. Well, ah, but then you also videoed from behind the people. Exactly. And you see, the, I moved. Uh, give me my phone. Let me see. I moved from 
one area to a different area. Mm -hmm. Do you get what I'm trying to say? Mm -hmm. So he was telling me, okay, and then if I share the video where the people they jam, I'm like, should every artist come on stage and jam? Let mm -hmm. me give you guys an example. Back in the day, the late Double HP was in Ghana at Ghana Music House from South Africa. Mm -hmm. Double HP performed on stage, yeah. he danced, he did everything he could do. No Ghanaian got up. Yeah. Everybody watched Double HP as if he was an underground artist. Mm. So if you go to another man's country, and you're doing the same thing to your artist. Why are you complaining? Yeah, I remember, but, I remember but, that double But even, even that was not even the case. Because I'm telling you, Stoneboy, Kwame and Kwesi had a very good, good show in, in Nigeria. Mm. This star who called me was saying that. And I'm like, yo, listen. There was one guy in the video who was standing in front of me. Like, if I turn in front of me, I did everything I could do to swerve the guy. And this guy was, was, was still watching... Like he, he, he was just there. Let me see the video. Oh, this one. Um, I'm still trying to get. You get what I'm trying to say? Yeah. This guy, this guy was still was still watching. Like he was just in front of me. Like he, he was not going to move. So should I use one person's thing to say I won't film my artist's performance, mm. bro? What the FN said is true. Yeah, FN said Stone Boy, Kwam Yuji, Kwesi performed to a door crowd. Should we report to that? No. So that tomorrow, if no Nigerian artist is working with, with, with I think a this video, yeah, this is my video. So it was, it was just this guy, this guy. You see, I, I try, I try to, to to switch, show this voice. Uh, the one in yellow. Yeah, he was the only person. And even in Ghana. Right, so, so don't be scared. I'm sure my people will show this to you as well. But now I'm um, look, looking at this video. Yeah. Most of the people here are dead. No, they are not dead, bro. Because see, I had moved from here. Are we and, seeing different? I had moved from here and I come to the VIP, the VVIP side. So, so the distance was longer. And like I'm saying, they told us that these guys should perform a bit later. So we actually, I was hoping that I'm going perform. Not that I walk back to the and I'm going to try beginning once in a But you are the people are performing. So the show itself, the organization was not as what we thought it was going to be. It wasn't smooth. Host, be brave, woman, intimate, and enka. You understand? Because it will be put action. Mm -hmm. Me, my thing is this. I feel like the hate, maybe hate is a strong word, but I, I, but I feel like the bashing of our Ghanaian artists in Nigeria should, should we, we, should, we have to really look at it again and really stop. The because the bashing of our Ghanaian artists in Nigeria, I said, I'm going Nigeria. It's, like, it's as though say, the Nigerians don't like them and the Nigerians don't want to watch them and they don't even play their music. And no, but is, is that a lie? It's a big lie, bro. It's a are, big are, are line. They, are they having our songs on rotation on their radio? Platform? We are having it even like more than we are, we are even playing it. Bro, see, my boss will, will testify to this, right? We're driving so in really, town, really quite mm -hmm. We're driving in town and we're listening to Beats 99.9 FM. Beats yeah. is one of the biggest in Nigeria. Where IK works? Yes. Mm -hmm. And I was telling Rudy, hey, so I don't go hear any kind of song, no, pop, when you say, come on, cut it. Uh, come on, cut it. I said, okay, maybe we will be one of them. Pah, cut it, bleeding. Oh, no, sack is okay. Pa, we see Arthur, back to back. I say, oh, really? It's for me, and she say we come down. So, then they, then they do this thing. So, then we enter more. We enter the mall, the whole mall, the big speakers. It was Sarko there, featuring Castro Adonai. After that, it was Sarko there, home freestyle. You know how Sarko used to have all these old freestyles? Mm. They were playing in the, in the mall speakers like crazy. I say, hey, really? This is for me, like, more you tell them, say we come down now. We entered game. It was manifest and Wallace. Loud speakers everywhere. Well, then, then they had played um, 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 a song from Sarko there before and they were playing um, manifest, manifest and Wallace. And 100%. Wallace. 100%. 100%. So I actually, I actually did a video of it on my Instagram. Then I moved away from there. I said, let me check ShopRite and things. I entered ShopRite. Then you play one of the songs, bro. And you play Kusi Arthur. Bro, it's not the same. You see, that it's just one thing we have, we, we have been fighting. It's about time we switch the fight to we are there now. Let's take over because it's, it's as though we are acting like we are up amateurs. We are not amateurs, bro. Mm. We are not. Mm. I was telling a friend of mine that some city I was in Nigeria was a flop. All That's of them know how it. you would describe it. No, all of them know it, bro. All of them know that this year, some city I was, it wasn't as dope as last year's events. They know production, organization, everything was poor, coordination was so bad. Come on, somebody was on stage for five minutes shouting, I need help. Where is the plug? I need help. It will never happen on Ghana Music Awards. Muswan can't judge Quay. So I'll buy a show Ghana Music Awards. No, just stage. No, I say, I need help. In case of who will say, in case of that trend, they are bad two years, no, 20 years. But in real show, they call Twitter, they check here. All those who were bashing them, they were bashing them and mocking them. But they were not saying the show had flopped. 
Nobody used the word flop in their conversation on Twitter. You can check. So, so what, what were they bashing them for? They were bashing them for the flops, like for the hoes, for instance. Or when you do so now, somebody can cry for stage now. Uh, that, 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 that is similar to yeah, but it. Yeah, I saw a headline. No, but you see, the word flop, you see, when you are working as an international relations person, I learned something on my journey. Mm -hmm. What people use to judge our artists is what we say. Mm -hmm. So when you, use the, when you use the headline, Stone, Kwame Mujin, Kusiata performs to a dead crowd or flops in Nigeria, you actually decrease the, the artist level, value. value down. So the artist who, who is in Nigeria wants to work with Stone, Kwesi and Kwame will feel like, hmm, these people say, they're my bars, maybe some way. This is now, it's, this is no more, we, we are no more in the age where it's about good music anymore, it's about numbers, it's about appearance, it's about brand value. Mm -hmm. So if, if, you're, if, you, if you're writing negative things about your artists, you are you're actually messing them up more, especially, especially on these blogs. I saw, an, I saw an article that said, Stoneboy, Kwesi and then flop, and they didn't flop, bro, you, you are not there. Yeah, they didn't flop. They saw your video. I'm they, sure. they didn't flop. They, they wrote their headlines from the video you, they didn't flop. you, you, you see, brought to us. But when I was at Tigo Music, one thing that my former boss, Jesse Japan, taught me was never to use the word um, um, flop, uh, like um, Jawa on mm -hmm. art. You know why? Mm -hmm. Because like distractive words. Because it, it messes their international relationships up. I went in there and I saw it. And I was telling somebody on TV that. There were so many Nigerian artists. I can mention two names. There was one girl called Miss Banks. You can Google her. Miss mm -hmm. Banks is a big artist in UK. Mm -hmm. South City made her look like some dumb upcoming artist. I'm telling you on record. Mm -hmm. She just came on stage and walked on stage and, and walked away. One song. Nobody even knew who the hell she was. Once again, I was in the, I was in the crowd. So I asked some of the girls there that, do they know who just came on stage? They said, no, now, now, now who to that? Now I said, that's Miss Banks. Do they about being danced? They said, oh, no, I heard that. Because Sound City, in the beginning of, of the show, they didn't arrange their performance as well. So you, you don't even know who is who. The only people who got people to stand up was people like we know in Ghana, like Joe Boy, and the guy who did the scene, Zima. Why are you going? Mm -hmm. Those who came before and after them, it was dead crowd. And these are Nigerians, bro. They didn't even give a two cents about whoever is on their stage. They didn't care until those two people came on stage. Okay, um, is Richard Imo Akwan still with Sound City? I think so. I, I, I didn't see him at the, at the venue. Um, okay. I should have asked Salt. I, sh I should have asked Say, mm -hmm. but I didn't ask Say. Um, but I, I can ask Say and find out if he's, he's still with them. All right, so Nanaya Radio is back from Lagos State with more fire. Of course, he's eating some eba and um, what is the green green thing? How did they call Actually, it? Actually, I didn't eat eba. You didn't eat eba. I was afraid. <laughs> <laughs> I went to a Chinese restaurant <laughs> to go and well, eat. Well, it's all good. Now, moving forward, yeah. um, how should Ghanaians um, value the Sound City MVP Awards? Yeah. Should we take it as uh, something, our Grammys in Africa, or you think it should no, be... No, Grammys, Grammys is too big. In Africa? No, it's, it's, no, I, I don't think so. I think okay, that, so what, what would you consider as our Grammys in Africa? I think, I think the... Um, I think the Afrimans are trying. Afrimans. Yeah, I've been outside the Afrimans. I saw the organization of the Afrimans. And maybe because it was held in the Ghana. The one they did it in Ghana. Yeah, maybe because it was in Ghana. You know, in Ghana, because of the way we did, we did check one of people, it's like, yeah. you have to do it right. So, what kind of seriousness should we attach to? We have to attach all seriousness to it because it's, it's not just their words. It's not just, you see, some city and Now, do you know my fear? What? My fear is that if next year any of our artists is even invited to go perform on that stage, they will recall what happened this year, where it was uh, spread that it was spread around the corner that the people did not even enjoy. That's what I'm saying. That that's not what's happened. So you see, we are closing the door to those who will come after these people, and we shouldn't do that. You, you, I don't know if you get what I'm trying to say. Mm -hmm. We have to understand. Listen, there was one guy. I was told he has a big song in Nigeria, but he came. I've forgotten the song. He came on stage with another song. They were all sitting and, and watching him like, okay, until he dropped that song. Whatever happens in Nigeria, it's the same thing happen, that happens in Ghana. It's like you go to Ghana Music Awards and an artist who has a normal song comes on stage. We all, we all don't get up until a sack or a shatter or a stone comes on stage mm -hmm. and we get up. Or until the, the, the person or the artist who had the most relevant in the year comes and we, we all jump. It's the same thing. Why do you use harsh words on artists that you were not even at the, at, at the venue, bro? Mm. You were not there. And I'm, and I'm saying that I was there and I'm telling you that, listen, the guy that you saw was only one guy. One! Who had his hand in his pocket. So because of, because of that guy, I should forget my artists who are, who are fleeing from Ghana to, to go and promote. And say, because of one guy, I will not shoot it. I will not do that. I will film. If, if you think that 
the artist flopped the song, then you don't know what's his performance. So I, 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 I had an article and I said a good performance is not always when crowd sings your song word for word. A good performance is when you're able to engage your audience. You, 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 you're able to hold their, their attention so you leave the stage. And that's what Kwame did. That's what Spoon did. That's what Dr. Kwame did. That's what Kisata did. Now, Diamond Platinum's performance stage. Mm -hmm. And somebody will say, oh, you flop. And I said, yeah, if it was, Diamond was a Ghanaian, you can headline COVID Diache. Because you know why? He performed one song and danced seven minutes. Mm, I see. He performed, oh. wait, 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 wait. He performed one song and he danced mm -hmm. seven minutes. Mm -hmm. And when he was about to leave, that's where I read that our artists, maybe they made a mistake. Mm -hmm. he, he performed a song that the all the Nigerians knew with Pati Rankin, I Love You My Baby. Mm -hmm. So maybe going forward, we have to use what we saw to help those who are going to perform next year and fix the whole so that we can also take over. We have to change the conversation now. We are no more hustling to get our songs played in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. We are no more fighting for, for them to play our songs. They are playing. How do we capitalize on it and make it bigger and grow the audience and, and take over like how they've taken over here? That's right. the, that should be the conversation. It, right. it shouldn't be about, oh, then go perform. Any, I, I don't know. So, I mean, you see, I, I mean, who there? Yo, it's, it's ignorance. It's not hate. Sorry, it's ignorance. It's as though, because it be stone, quite beauty and crazy, and, and you know, maybe you know, be your artist way go. So you are happy that at least people they watch them to the so that you say, say, and can my artist make call, yeah. I have tested that experience before. Remember when Xylophone Media and Men exactly. launched um, their offices in Nigeria? It was the same story we came back with. And our story was even sad in the sense that they knew it was a Ghanaian owned event of a sort. So those who came in, they were just there looking at ah, who is this, who is that. And I remember on the day, uh, Shakta Wallace, Stone Boy, Becca and Co, they were also being watched just like that. So when I saw the story, I was not surprised to start with. Because it's I said to myself, no, I have seen it before. But then Sarah you are telling us it did not even happen. No, you are called Sarah fights, no. Do you think that our boys will go there again the same thing will happen again? See, Stone Boy's biggest song in Nigeria is most original. Mm -hmm. When we finished performing at the Santos MVP, I was we were outside. And then the queue, she has F fair, Nigerians, almost bad picture. Oh man, they say you began here now. Why you began here? Why you why you not be Jamaican? Ask Stone Boy who tell you, man. Wisdom, tell the people who they were shouting. Why 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 you not be Jamaican? Why why you began here now? Why you began here? Why you began here? Um, the guy who works with um, Stone Boys, the fair, yeah, the fair guy. guy. We, we don't will tell you. He is now Stone Boys' current manager. No, he's not, I, I, that one. The, I, I, I can't, I can't confirm or, or say anything. But I'm saying that he saw it himself. He, like it's not just he so He did see Sunday mm. when we we're doing the interview with with Stone Boy, Muse and, Muse and Stone Boy. Mm. People were still waiting for Stone Boy at the reception, mm. and one lady came with with her daughters. Like they were like they were singing most original. These are Nigerians, bro. These are not Ghanaians. These are Nigerians. Kids singing most original and saying why is he a Ghan uh, why, why is he a Ghanaian <coughs> and not a Jamaican? And I'll take your red cap. I'm mean, taking take your red a sip. Cap. Take a sip. I'm taking a sip. And uh, give me a cheers. And um, uh, we are about we are about wrapping up. Of course, the man is back from Nigeria. And you know how Nigerians do it. They do it with all the energy. They do it with all the passion. And I'm sure that is what our man is doing here. It's all good. But then Nanaya is going to give us three key lessons we should learn from the Ghana Nigeria conflict since he's been there, since he's experienced them, especially on one event that we all consider as one of the best in Africa. That is the Sound City MVP Awards. And I is going to tell us three key lessons he picked from his experience in Nigeria that you and I we should consider and uh, move forward with it. Nana, three. One is that we need to appreciate all our event organizers in Ghana. Good. Especially Charter House. Mm -hmm. What I what I witnessed mm -hmm. um, in Nigeria, if mm -hmm. it was Ghana, mm -hmm. I can tell you for a fact that till now they will still be trending. So okay. big up every event organizer. So point one, we need to appreciate we need to event know. organizers in Ghana. And I want to say I agree with this point. Sometimes if you are not with them, you might think it is just <laughs> some child's play. But it is not. It is, an, it is a heavy task to hold, especially if you are dealing with events in Ghana. When you have to deal with logistics, venue, people mm -hmm. buying tickets, security, blah, 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 and it goes on like that. So the first point, Nanaya, I agree with you. Two, we need percent. to celebrate our artists in Ghana. Mm. We are not saying we should over pamper them. We should, we, we, I'm not saying we should over pamper them or make them feel over special. But I'm saying that we need to change the conversation now. You see, anybody who has a phone and calls himself and himself a blogger, 
you, you need to understand that like you are part of a bigger picture than just a small country called Ghana. Mm. So when I went to Nigeria, I googled some of the artists that I met in Nigeria because I didn't mm. know them too. Mm -hmm. And I, I was telling myself, if these were Ghanaians, they would have said, oh, Nigerian blogger means Ghana artist, you don't know them. Mm -hmm. But I met people I didn't know, I had to Google them. Mm -hmm. And I saw good stuff about them. So every blog must begin to change the conversation. Yes, be fair and firm, but understand that you are part of a bigger, of a global conversation for these boys. All right, so point two, let's value and respect our artists. Um, in any way you can, as a journalist, as a music consumer, as a fan, let's value them. We should stop the division that we have created among them. Let's support them because when they go together, Ghana will also win like that. And the third point... The is, most important point is, we need to change the narrative from Nigerians don't play our music to Nigerians are playing our music. What can we do? Because I heard not less than 20 songs of Ghanaian artists in Nigeria. I was in the club. I was in one corner with mm. some stars. Sally, we were, yeah, yeah, we had this, uh, the, 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 DJ mm. was, the guy was, the, the DJ there is called DJ Obi. From nowhere, he was just playing, you know, he was playing Burner, he was playing Sass, he was playing, you know. And from nowhere, no, can't fuck with your man them. And the whole place, the, he paused the whole place. Down, 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 when they like them. Yo, that's Kusheta, bro. I only filmed that shit. I, I said, Rudy. Is that Chris Yaka? You filmed that like, Yeah, I filmed that shit. I'm like, yo! <laughs> I'm like, Rudy! <laughs> Let me take my car before the shit falls into it. <laughs> no, but sorry, excuse my language. Sometimes, like, you know... No, I'm taking my car before you can continue shitting. <laughs> no, but you see, the, the thing is that when, they, when DJ Obi paused the record, everybody there sang the song, the next line. Mm. And he said, Yo, let's dash away. Dash away to what? Stone Boy. Most original. So it was a Ghana thing of a sort. Yo, I'm saying that we need to change the, the narrative from Nigerians are not playing our music to they are playing. What do we do now? Because Wiz, Berna, Davido, Olamide, and all those guys, they are not saying Ghana is not playing. Our, they are saying Ghana is playing our music. What the fuck do we do? So because of that, they are, they are here promoting, they are, they are in our faces. What can we do? If the radios and TVs are locked, there's the pub, there's the DJs, mm. there's the clubs. Mm. Can we go through that place as well? We need to find ways and means to capitalize on what we have there and grow the space. Actually, if you are not here, you are not here. If you are not here, you are not here. If you are not here, you are not here. If you are not here, you are not here. Okay. And, I'll, and I'll not be surprised by now if people in Nigeria are messing with Atajwa. Yeah, I want to believe so. You got trying to say, so let's change the conversation from, oh, I'm born in Nigeria, and I'm born in the door. Say, I'm going to Let me say one thing. I know, I know stages will kill me. We are wrapping up. Before mm. we wrap up, mm. we are crying a very wrong cry in Ghana. Mm -hmm. Nigerian songs, I'm born in the world, I'm born in the world. No, on, on, for, for some time. I, 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 I will show you. Oh, I'm coming oh, nah, nah. back. Now nah, nah, let me land. From the last two years, we can say. Obu ha bandu tu si de besan si si amami kana ansa na ansa ti. And you may have both come here for any foreign music, as in like those from US. Who are checking? The Chris Browns, the Jay Z, the, the and all those people, the Kendrick Lamar, the Drakes. Mm -hmm. Drake new back in there. But two of stations there twenty. Oh, come and say. It, it's like it comes in America at five a.m. Seven a.m. in the morning is in Ghana. Mm -hmm. That is where the problem is. We are playing more. Foreign, this US and hip hop, whatever, new music more. Mm -hmm. And we are fighting a small fight of Nigerian music that is like, where's the video? I'm going to say that book, 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 that they were singing it in Nigeria back to back. So, you know, have, have you heard it in Ghana yet? No. Exactly. So, I'm telling myself, Drake and Future have a new song in, in America right now. Yeah, both Ghana is here. The problem, the fight we should fight is that stop playing these hip hop guys because you don't know them. You don't know, do you know Chris Brown? Do you know Drake? Oh, I know him. He came to Ghana. Do you, do you, do you, do you know yeah, Future? Came to smoke in Ghana. So, we should fight, we should say, listen, Station A, Station B, Station C, mm -hmm. stop playing all these hip hop. Hip hop songs, cause that that is that is more than these Nigerian songs. Okay. When you stop those songs, you go see say when a country, when a, this country, we play more Ghanaian songs. And listen, we have to be fair to Ghana DJs. Every DJ in every pub, 
um club station tv whatever they try they are playing more ghana music we need to respect and, and love them we need to appreciate them because if everybody stop playing these hip-hop songs mm -hmm. you will see something in this country mm -hmm. it's not the nigerian songs bro okay Thank you so much, Nana Aredu. Let me say cheers to you. Of and course, cheers. cheers to success and cheers to your yeah. Nigerian trip. I believe it has changed the narrative for him. Uh, it is my prayer that he will be able to also change it for us and for you as well. Let's support our event promoters, point one. Let's respect our artists and again, let's change the narrative. That has been the three key points Nana Aredu brought from Nigeria to you and I. It has been the Ghana Weekly here on Samiplex TV because he had a lot to say from Nigeria. That is why today we did not attempt other topics. But I know yeah. now that um, Charter House has opened nominations and next week I'm so pretty sure that three music awards will yeah, also we'll announce on. their nominations finally for the event to come off somewhere in March. So when we sit again on this channel, we are going to delve into other issues. Nana Aredo is back on his seat. Thank you so much for being a part of the Ghana Weekly today. Charlie, move, follow me on Instagram. Uh -huh. Follow me. Catch up. Instagram. Catch up. Catch up. Nana, Listen, thank block. you guys so much. Yesterday I was at um I was yesterday, sorry, I was at one restaurant eating and Five guys came to me. I loved you guys too. Mm. And they came and said, We follow you on Sammy Flex TV. We watch your interviews. Mm. We love what you say. Mm. You have to be careful. I know I have to be ah, careful. Why? Yeah, because this have is. Have you gotten there? Oh, yeah. But you see, I do it for the love of you guys. You understand? I spend time to learn, not because of myself, but because to help for God and country. But thank you guys so much. Thank you, Richmond, and the guys that came to me yesterday at, at the restaurant. I love your advice. And all the ladies who buy me food at the restaurant when they hey. see me, Charlie, keep buying the food, Charlie. So how come you are buying the food? <laughs> you are buying the food. Keep for buying the food, baby. No, 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 no. Hold it, hold it, hold it. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I'm buying food for the guests, but I don't buy it for the host. Oh, I'm, I, I, oh, I'm the Uber driver. I forgot your name, though. I'm sorry, the Uber driver. Shout out to the Uber driver. That, that picked me up. Pick, you, you picked me on. Uh, you put me on Thursday. No, was it Thursday? No, you picked me on Friday. On yeah, Thursday morning, mm -hmm. and you took me to the office at Billing Pay, and mm -hmm. you said you watched myself and Sammy Flex. Thank you so wow. much for watching, and thank you for not taking the money. Wait till you get to US. That is when you know your family. <laughs> Yeah, shout out to all my US shout out to you guys, man. I'm Love sure you. we're going to do it again. Thanks to Digital Rasta Currency. It has been a hot comeback of <laughs> Anaya Radio. Until we meet again, it is Sammy Flex TV be part.